Welcome back to Perfect Timing. We're here because this week I feel like I could be a mascot for Perfect Timing, having hit 10 million subscribers. Then a few minutes before the 10 million subscriber video goes up, I get purged by YouTube back under 10 million subscribers. And then the next day when I post a video about getting purged under 10 million subscribers, a few minutes before that goes up, I'm back over 10 million subscribers. You probably know the story, but still, let's see what else has taken place in the world of perfect timing over the last month. We'll start off with showing off your champagne. You know, I gotta pop some champagne for 10 million subscribers, so it's an apt post to start off with. One dude's looking like super fly, the other's like, all right, I can't balance champagne like that. <laughs> I feel like he probably got bumped by someone behind him because that's kind of what happens. I don't think I've ever been to a nightclub and not had someone step on my shoe multiple times, spill a drink on me, or bump me to where I spill a drink on myself. I, I don't think I've ever been able to escape without that happening at least once, if not multiple of those things combined. So it's okay, dude. It's, it's not your fault. You were just serving as a shield so that the other guy could uh, look super good. Next up on the agenda, two birds forming a love heart. Oh, that's so cute. Also, I feel like I've definitely seen that before with real birds, and also I've definitely seen that in art before with like swans necks forming a, a heart, but you got it in real life. A love, <laughs> a love heart. <laughs> as a, <laughs> uh, the top comment, it's like, as opposed to, um, a, you know, a beating human heart, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of these. Not so, not to get you confused with like it forming the the less pleasant shape of a, a functional internal organ in your body. It's not one of those. Just so you know. Just yeah, I love heart. This NHL player fishing <laughs> looks like. Uh, I hope you're not a goalie because um, it's looking like you're having a, a pretty hard time keeping your hands on that fish. I wouldn't want that to happen with the puck. Watch him actually be a goalie, and someone's, like, really offended right now. Like, no, he's actually a really good goalie, okay? He has, like, one of the highest block rates of any goalie in the entire NHL. So how dare you talk down to him like that? I'm like, whoa. All right, dude, chill out. It was a joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably what I would look like if I thought a fish was dead and then it started flopping in my hands. I wouldn't look much different. Watch out for that first step. I love how nonchalant his face looks like. Yeah, I'm about to eat it, aren't I? Let me just, it's like record scratch. Let me tell you how, how I got here. I was forced by my family to wear really impractical dress shoes that I can barely walk in. They're extremely painful. I can't feel my feet. I've been standing for several hours at this wedding ceremony doing my vows and stuff. And um, it's actually very hard to walk when you can't feel your feet. So not my fault, but I expected it. I knew it was coming. I also like how some of the people in the line are like realizing what's happening. Like this dude over here, it's kind of like, oh, look, he's falling. Her, sh she has no idea. She's too busy looking at the camera. She's not even going to see him fall. She's going to be like, wait, what just happened? I was too busy looking and smiling at the camera. Got to look sick in those wedding shots. And she's like, oh, God, what have I done picking out those shoes? Also, there's sparklers there. I just had my first hands on with a sparkler. Uh, yeah, last week. That was a thing. Okay, anyway, moving right along. The exact moment my brother got punched in the face by this cheeky little lady. I see, he didn't actually get punched in the face by a lady. It was it was an elephant. That's pretty cute. You know, another subreddit I've been thinking of doing is baby elephant gifts. You know, you just don't you just don't think that baby elephants are going to be so cute, but they are. Like if someone if someone was telling you to identify some of the cutest types of baby animals, I bet you Unless you're familiar with them, you wouldn't come up with elephants, but they're so, they are really cute. Anyway, I just got off on a tangent here, but man, I want to I want to get hands on with some elephants one day. That'd be cool vlog material, wouldn't it? She had no idea about what. Oh, <laughs> that's actually pretty great. You know, sometimes I wish that I lived in a place where it could be snowy every now and again so that I could do that. But also, I, I should just travel to places that have snow to snowboard. I'm going to do it this year. You hold me to it. I'm gonna go snowboarding. I have to. I didn't this season. It's like the first season ever that I never actually made it out to the mountain. Oh God, I'm the worst. What am I doing with my life? I hope that she snapped like a, a bunch of photos in a row too. So like it'd be a slideshow of her getting hit in the face. That face of focus though over here. He's like, I'm not gonna miss. I'm not gonna miss. It's gonna be so embarrassing if the miss is captured on camera. A friend took this picture at an open air festival. This is the gods of lightning lashing out and no one being able to put their phones away 
and focus on the music. I, I mean, I, I assume that the person on stage was like, everybody take out your phones and turn on your flashes. Isn't that just so weird, though? That, like, rather than lighters, it's like, take out your electronic device and put the flash on. I don't know. I still, despite obviously being very technologically centric myself, it's still odd to me. And I don't go to music festivals, and I never really went during a period where lighters were more common. But still... It just feels odd because it's like, no, you want to be focusing on the music and the whole idea of pulling out your phone, which would just detach you from that, seems odd. It's so artificial. And the gods of thunder don't don't approve. They're like, no, we'll create some natural light here. We don't need your phone flashes. I I don't even, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't go to music festival. I've never been to a music festival, actually, so whatever. Police officer taking one big step for police kind. This just looks like a whole mess. Like, what's happening here? Why are all the police falling over? Like, <laughs> yeah, like the top comments, like what, why are three people, did three people just fail the vault? It's like, I guess it's some sort of protest going on, the police trying to break it up, but the police seem to need help actually like even getting to where the thing is taking place. Like there's just a lot of violence. Have people been photoshopped out of this? Are people actually fighting back here? Or have all the police just fallen over? All This fence just really did a lot of damage. <laughs> Good God. It's all right, guys. It's all right. You got some protective gear. You'll get back up and um, you'll institute safety. Whatever it is that you're doing there. Man, oh man, that's just chaos. Angelic. See, all we need is that other pigeon over here to go and make a love heart. Not to be confused with a beating human heart, but a love heart. I feel like... I hope that's real. I feel like that could be like easily photoshopped in, but that's pretty cool, actually. I would, if I was that kid, I'd save that photo for posterity and be like, this was the time when it looked like I had really gross, dark, soot-covered angel wings. I was just, you know, as an angel, sometimes you want to go play in like a volcano and uh, your wings get covered in, in ashes. And then you look like that. Gatorade bath. <laughs> Why is it, I always feel like when I see one of these, uh, the coolers being dumped on someone, it always ends up hitting the wrong person. Like, I assume that the dude was trying to hit the player, but the reporter definitely got the brunt of that one. Like, it just deflected right off the dude's shoulder, right into her face. And goodbye, microphone. Those are probably really expensive, too. I should know how much they are, given that I work with microphones, but I actually don't. But they're probably not cheap. That clip is over right there. Even if you want to continue talking, you're sorry, Mike's gone. Dude just looks like he's really enjoying it though. Like, I love Gatorade baths. I was really expecting this to happen. I was so hot, but now I've cooled off. Thanks teammate, I really appreciate it. And she just has not had time to understand or process what's, what's going on. Isn't it water though, or is it actually Gatorade? I'm pretty sure it's always water in those Gatorade coolers, but that does look a little purple. So maybe that actually is a Gatorade bath. Huh, that's the most surprising thing about the clip. Bird taking off. Oh, that's pretty cool. I thought it was a hummingbird first. That's not a hummingbird. No, hummingbirds don't land, which is wild when you think about it. Isn't it wild that like a hummingbird doesn't land? It just flies its entire life. You would want to take a break, wouldn't you? You'd think you'd want to take a break, but it can't. It just flies forever. It's just stuck. They're like the sharks of the sky, because most sharks can't stop swimming either. Probably the first time anyone's ever said a hummingbird is a shark of the sky, and I'm gonna I'm gonna own up to that. Attribute that quote to me, please. That is really that is really cool though. Reminds me of the uh of what, like a cockatoo raising up its feathers on the top of its head, like when it dances to music. I was watching some clips of that yesterday, so I just thought I'd mention it because this is really cute when those birds like bounce their heads to the music. It's it's pretty cool. Also, this is why that exercise is called a fly. I assume I just I just connected the dots right there. I mean, I connected the dots before. I'm not that dumb. Only sometimes. Glass being shattered from a hockey check. Yeah. I mean, if that's an NHL game, that was bound to be captured somewhere on a high def camera that's that's shooting video, and therefore you get some frame that looks like that. So I'm less impressed about the timing here, just because you know when you have a lot of film cameras that still frames can be high quality from, it's not that big of a deal. But see, yeah, it's cool. Glass is gnarly though. Even if you have a camera that's going at like 100,000 frames per second, you can hardly capture it shattering. It just goes, the propagates so quickly. I'd be, so I'd be way more impressed if 
because because the propagation of the crack happened so quickly, I'd be far more impressed if they had gotten a still frame where the crack was only like halfway across the glass because that would have meant it captured it, the one out of 60 frames per second captured it going halfway across, which would be unlikely to say the least because it happens very fast. Lost footing. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's difficult to know exactly how perfect the timing was because I, I, the bird probably took a mo- the owl. Sorry, it's not bird. Are owls birds? Are owls birds? Owls are birds. Now that we've cleared that one up, I can call an owl a bird if I want. I can call an owl a burr if I want to. But I bet I bet the owl like fell off and it was struggling to get back up. And the photographer was just like, boom. You didn't really have to. It wasn't coincidental. You knew it was going on, but still, it's a great photo. If it was higher res, it'd make for a good wallpaper. Cow jumping over herding dogs. Whoa! Oh my god, I didn't even know cows could jump like that, dude. That's crazy. That dog is like, oh god, oh god. I've never been scared of these cows. They're usually scared of me, but now I don't actually want to die and get squished. It's like, oh Jesus. Uh, And the other dog is like, no, Steve, get out of the way. You're going to die. You're going to get trampled. As scared as they are, they're a lot bigger and heavier than us, and if it lands on you, you're, it's not going to turn out well. Good God. Can you imagine a cow like that landing on you from that high up? That, that'd be, dude, lights out. That's game over. A couple of years ago, my friend slash co-worker set her hair on fire while blowing out the candles on her birthday cake. <laughs> this was taken uh, the split second before anybody realized. I've seen, I actually I saw a clip of someone, I think it was on like Twitch the other day. No, we, no. I'm blending things together. I did see a clip of this the other day. I just can't remember if it was on Twitch or not. Yeah, this it's kind of a fire hazard leaning in when you have long hair over a cake with candles. Probably be it seems like something you want to be mindful of. It's like, all right, let me just be careful about where my hair goes if there's food slash fire down there. You've not noticed anything yet though. She's like, Oh yeah, happy days. You just blew out the candles on the How does the fire progress that far and you still haven't noticed? Like that I feel like that's about a a couple seconds worth of flame, which is long enough for your reaction time to kick in and be like, oh God, your hair is on fire. I guess not. Tried to take a picture of the sunset while driving and a bird totally ruined the shot. I don't think the bird ruined the shot. In fact, I think the bird made the shot even cooler. I don't know about you, but if I was a photographer, I would find that photo to be, well, I mean, I don't have to be a photographer. I was gonna say if I was a photographer, I'd be more pleased with that photo as the outcome. And not being a photographer, I think that's a much cooler shot than just the sun. Anyone could take that shot where if you remove the bird, like I could take that shot. That's cool. That could be like a logo. You know what? Dude, that is totally a logo for a production company that you would see at the intro to a film in theaters. It'd be like the bird. It'd be like driving along the road, right? Driving along the road. The bird swoops in in front of the in front of the sun, freeze, and then it goes into a black and white of the bird superimposed on top of the sun, and then the title of the production company rolls beneath it. There you go. Someone's totally gonna do this now. Hey, if you work for a production company and you're getting involved with features and you do that for your logo, you better hook it up with some royalties, all right? Because that right there, that's an idea. I'm not even being sarcastic. That would actually work really well. That's totally it. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. This episode of Reddit, perfect timing. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Reddit videos. And uh, subscribe if you're not already. If you want to catch the music playing in the background right now, it's uh, linked in the outro over on Mad Music. I will see you next time. Yeah.